think we're live? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we are live. Welcome, guys, to the stream. Um, hold up, let me pull up my chair up closer. you guys closer to me all right what's up guys episode one of the tcu show um pretty excited um uh today for the tcu show episode one um i'm gonna try to create um this tcu show um at least at least every saturday so welcome um to the stream um so yeah so, we're just talking about TCU. Obviously, we pulled off a big upset today. Um, Kansas almost got upset by Kansas State. Um, yeah. Not right, not right now. We don't have any viewers. Um, but, you know, it's probably going to be anywhere from a 20 to 30 minute little show each week. So, you know, we should get some viewers maybe soon. Um, just chilling here in my bedroom, you know. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, but yeah, um, big upset today, man. That was that was amazing. Um, how we pulled that off today, I I couldn't believe it, man. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna be looking at some quick stats today. Um, and we might even go in depth a little bit with uh, TCU football. Um, the schedule of TCU football today. Um. Might go in, in depth with that a little bit. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, let's start it off with what we saw um, from TCU today in basketball. Um, so, hold up. All right, here we go. 75 to 72, we pulled off the win, obviously. Um, it's number two Baylor. Desmond Bain has been the guy all year for us. Um, even though we, even through the bad games, he's been the guy for us. Um, he shot nine of 18 today, five of eight from three, uh, zero of zero from the free throw line. Um, obviously he didn't shoot at all from the free throw line, but, um, he also had five rebounds, four assists, one steal, one block. Um, Kevin Samuel had a couple blocks along with six points and four rebounds. <coughs> Don't worry, guys. I don't. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the coronavirus. Don't worry. <laughs> Just a little cold. Everybody at my school, man. I mean, everybody at my school is like freaking sick. Um. I I don't know. Everyone's freaking sick at my school. So. I got I got a little cold from my school. Um. So, I don't think live streaming is disabled. Uh, hopefully it's not. I'll go check in a minute if it is. But let's start it off, guys, with um, the TCU football schedule um, for this upcoming season. So here we go. In the first game of the season, TCU football will be playing at California on Saturday, September 5th at 2 p.m., now, guys, I will be doing basketball stuff or football stuff. Once basketball stuff is over, um, basketball season's over, um, and uh, TCU um, basketball's over, I'll be making TCU football stuff for you guys. Um, so, yeah, that that should be that should be fun um, to do that. Um, and then next game. Sorry, I'm eating right now. I haven't eating dinner, but the next game is against Prairie View a and I think Division Two team, if I'm, if I'm correct, that's a Division Two team, if I'm completely correct, that's a Division Two team, um, and then we have the rivalry game at SMU, um, I'll be interested to see how good TCU football is this year, I don't know how good they're going to be, um, particularly, um, in, at football this year, but I'll definitely be interested to see, 
um, how, how, how it goes um, this year. So that was the third game of the year. Uh, fourth game of the year, Saturday, October 3rd, to start off Big 12 play. We play at home against Oklahoma State at noon on Saturday, October 3rd. Um, actually, all these times are still to be determined because, I mean, this is football season still a little ways away, but it'll be here before you know it. Um, the next one we have is TCU at West Virginia in week five. Um, like I said, um, none of these games will be easy. Um, Big 12's tough, especially, I think it's going to be tough this year too. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then we play at home against Kansas State on week six. And then we play week seven at Baylor. Um, week eight, home against Oklahoma. Um, week nine. Uh, week nine. Or week ten. Yeah, week ten. Week ten. Um, week ten against Iowa State. Week eleven against Texas. Week twelve against Texas Tech. And week thirteen against Kansas. I'm going to tell you guys, a team that I think is going to get a lot better is um is um the the Kansas Jayhawks football team. I think I don't think they're gonna be like a powerhouse or anything like that, but they're gonna be one of those five or six win teams in there that might be tough to beat, you know, like in Lawrence or I don't know. I just feel like Les Miles is doing something pretty special over there in Lawrence. Um but we'll see. We'll see how he does there. Um I already saw Kansas 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 looks better, like, this year. They looked better, so. Dang. Dang, we don't have, oh, we don't have uh, comments on. Dang. The heck, man. Hold up. Hold up. Why aren't comments on? It's weird. It's weird, man. It's weird. I don't know why comments are doing this, man. It's not like I'm making bad content out here. Whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, sorry I don't have comments on. I don't know why it keeps doing that to me, but, um, you just have to watch it without comments on. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, um, you guys will have to catch this, um, TCU show each week. I'll be streaming for like 20 to 30 minutes on Saturdays, mainly on Saturdays. We'll see. Um, I'll try to keep a consistent schedule on Saturday, so for you guys, get time out of my day for you guys, but, yeah, um, like I said, you know, um, I'm excited for TCU football this year, I think they're gonna get a lot better, um, I think our quarterback's gonna get a lot better, Matt, is it Max Duggan, I think his name is, um, sometimes I forget his name, it's been, it's been a couple months since football season, so sometimes I forget all their names, but, um, yeah, Max Duggan, he was a freshman this year, um, he's, I see him, I could see him being a good quarterback, you know, he's just a freshman this year, you know, there's a lot to learn, when you're a freshman, there's a lot to learn, um, as a freshman, playing college football, um, definitely, I'm sure it can be tough being a freshman, and especially being a starter as a freshman, your first, first year of college football when you're not, you know, a high recruit or any, any of that stuff, you know. Even those five-star recruits in college football or college basketball, it can be hard for them as a freshman to, you know, get used to the college level. But, yeah, um, I'm excited for football um, this year. I don't know about you guys. But I'm excited for it. 
I think we'll go anywhere from we'll definitely be back in a bowl game. We'll be anywhere from seven and five, six and six to nine and three. Anywhere from there. So I'm predicting like seven, five, eight and four. Anywhere from there. I'm just eating right now because nobody's on the stream, so. But, yeah, I'm really excited this year for this upcoming year for TCU football. Now, um, I, I'm going to say at the start of the year, start of the school year, um, hold up. It's always tough to upload at the start of the school year for you guys consistently, so that's the only part that might be tough next next year for you guys that might get tough but <clears throat> um yeah so I'm trying to think of something else guys okay um <clears throat> so yeah uh so, we do have a person on the stream. I, I don't know if you already heard the, because comments are on. Uh, I was reading off the TCU football schedule for this upcoming season. Um, excited for that. Um, so, yeah. Let's look at some of the scores around the country, guys, um, right now. Come on, looking at some of the scores. I'm definitely watching. I don't know about you guys, but at 9 p.m. tonight, uh... Gonzaga plays St. Mary's. I'm I'm watching that. I'm definitely gonna be watching that. Um, that's definitely a game I'm gonna watch. Um, for sure. For sure there. Um. Hey guys, I'm stuffed up. Stuffed as heck, man. It's hard sometimes. Stuffed up. <clears throat> I see Oklahoma or West Virginia keeps losing. Um, that's kind of weird that they keep losing, but uh, another win there for Oklahoma, so that's good for Oklahoma. Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys. Uh, so Oklahoma, I saw that West Virginia, West Virginia just keeps losing, man. Um, but TCU now should be, hold up, hold up, guys. <clears throat> TCU should be, um, ah, what? Why is TCU still, wait, we beat West Virginia. Oh, I guess we did, no, we did, we tied against them, didn't we? So we're still seventh place in the Big 12. I mean, the Big 12, really, honestly, isn't that good. Once you, once you get Kansas and Baylor, uh, those are two teams that are, are top five, top ten teams, you know. Once you cross Kansas and Baylor, the Big 12, honestly, isn't that good. Um, and then you have, like, uh, you know, Texas Tech. You have Kansas at 15-1 and one in the Big 12, Baylor at 14-2 and two in the Big 12, and then you got Texas Tech at 9-7. and seven. Like, there's just a big drop-off once you have Kansas and Baylor. So, Big 12 really isn't as strong this year. Um, there's probably one, two, three four, maybe four teams that are going to make the tournament out of the Big 12 this year. It'll be Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech, and either Oklahoma or Texas. Maybe both Oklahoma and Texas, but I don't know. I don't see Texas making the tourney. Maybe they do, uh, but I just don't see it. So I'm predicting, yeah, I'd say Oklahoma and, so it's going to be Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech, or Oklahoma or Texas. So there's, I think there's only going to be like maybe four to five teams out of the Big 12 this year that are going to make the tournament. Oh, holy cow, guys. That's huge. Look at this. Look at this. I didn't even know they still had Oklahoma still on the schedule. Texas plays Oklahoma on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. That game is pretty much going to define um, that fourth team in the Big 12 that makes the tournament pretty much um, there. 
So yeah, that pretty much defines it right there. So EP top 25, um, all division one. Um, so let's let's see what upcoming action we see from TCU. On uh, hold up, TC TCU basketball schedule. Here's the. TCU basketball schedule. Here's the upcoming schedule for TCU between today and next Saturday. Okay, so, so oh, okay, 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 yeah. Wednesday. Hold up. Where's TCU and KU? Ah, here we go. So TCU plays Kansas. Um, next, on Wednesday night. Now, yes, I am a part-time Kansas fan, but once again, full-time TCU fan. Love the Frogs. I'm still going to go for them, obviously, on, uh, on Wednesday night. And then we finish up the regular season, uh, at home against Oklahoma. We have to play Allen Fieldhouse, guys. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough, man. Dang, we got to play at Allen Fieldhouse next. I don't know if we're winning that one, guys. That's, I mean, I know we beat number two Baylor, but it was at home. Um, I mean, the two upsets we've had against West Virginia and Baylor have both been at home. We're not a good road team, so, dang, that's going to be tough. Yeah. That's going to be a tough one, man. Um, Wednesday, aren't you? Yeah, man, it's crazy how fast college football goes, how fast college basketball goes. Man, it's crazy. It goes so fast. Like, you're like, oh, man, yeah, college football's here. And then college football's gone. Oh, yeah, college basketball's here. Conference play's on. College basketball's gone. It's crazy, man, how fast it goes. Every year, college football and college basketball always go so dang quick, man. I mean, March Madness is pretty much almost here. Now, I don't even know. I don't think we're going to be in uh, in March Madness this year because, I mean, we got some good wins, but we've also had some very bad losses. We're too inconsistent. Like, if we would have beaten Iowa State and Oklahoma State both on the road, Oklahoma State at Gilger, Iba, and then Iowa State on the road at uh, whatever their arena is called, but... We would be 18 and 11 in a bubble team, so those are two wins that would probably right now define us as a bubble team. So, yeah, we're we're not making the tournament this year, but we're probably we'll probably you know what I give us a shot next year. I give us a shot next year um, to make the tournament. It says concurrent viewers um, is one right now, so I think we got a viewer. Um, I'll probably end the stream anywhere from 5 to 10 more minutes because of this show is going to be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Um, 20 to 30 minutes, anywhere from there. Um, so 20, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes this, this show will go on for. Um, and I'm trying to do it every Saturday. Um, one, once a week on Saturdays for you guys, um, and I'll try to do it consistently, um, but yeah, some Saturdays I might be busy and might not be able to do it, but some Saturdays I'll definitely be, be able to do it, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I was wondering if you guys wanted me to do a, on my main channel, comment down on my latest video, since since the comments aren't on on this live stream for some reason, go on my um, latest video on my main channel, okay? Comment down if you guys want me, like, when college football um, is off. Hold on. So when college basketball is off, okay, 
there's no college basketball and there's no college football. It's that time of year where both are just done, you know, and all we have is baseball and the NBA. Do you guys want me to, um, do you guys want me to do another NCAA 2K20 series or like a, you know, where I put my guy through high school and then go on to uh, the in, uh, on to the NCAA. Um, so go to my latest video on my main channel and uh, comment if you guys want me to do that. Well, um, NCAA basketball and uh, NCAA football are both off during that time of year. And I, you know, maybe just won't be uploading as much as I usually do. Um, but if TCU is in the NIT, um, hold on. Dang, sorry guys, I'm getting over a little something, but, um, if TCU is, if TCU is in, um, the NIT, I'll be making videos for it. No, I mean, I'm with my team, even if they make the not invited tournament, the NIT, that's what they call it, the not invited tournament. I know it's called the National Invitational Tournament, but there's people that, you know, make fun of it and call it the not invited tournament. I'm still rooting for my team in there, man. I'm still in me making post-game videos and pre-game videos for the NIT. I support my team all the way, man. Even if we don't win a single game the whole year. I might get frustrated the whole year, but, um, you know, I support them in everything, man. So, um, yeah, what a day from Desmond Bain, you know. Um, when he played Baylor. What a day from Desmond Bain. He played, and that he played his heart out, man. He played his heart out. Um, he played his heart out against uh, the Baylor Bears. He had like twenty three points, nine of eighteen shooting, five of ten from three, or four of nine from three, four of eight from three, somewhere around there like that, like anywhere from forty five to fifty percent from three. He played his heart out uh, today. So uh, he's really the reason we've been able to close out some of these games, Desmond Bain. So. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to Desmond Bain. You're a real one, man. Keep it up. Um, I think I'm going to end the stream in a couple minutes. Um, we do have one viewer still. Um, so that, that, whoever that viewer is has been very loyal throughout the stream. Um, so thank you. Um, and if you are viewing still, uh, if you could like the stream possibly, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, guys, um, like I said, big win today. Big win. Um against Baylor, um, we went through, you know, some of the TCU football schedule, all the TCU football schedule, obviously I'll still be making, you know, TCU stuff for football in the fall, and then, um, uh, you know, um, support my team throughout, even if they are only in the NIT, I support them throughout, man, um, so, yeah, we'll probably make the NIT, um, I'll probably see you guys next on probably when is it Tuesday they play Kansas TCU I think they play Kansas on Tuesday TCU basketball TCU set. TCU basketball schedule Here's the upcoming schedule yeah, Oh no it's Wednesday okay I'll probably see you guys on Wednesday so uh that'll be about 4 days that'll be about 4 days so Let's see, Saturday, it's Saturday night tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys probably in like four days. About four days, three and a half days, something like that. Um, which, you know, that's good, guys. I mean, I'm going to have a busy week coming up. So, um, yeah. I'm going to have a pretty busy week coming up, if I'm going to be honest. But, uh, yeah, um, that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for, oh, we got two viewers, but, like I said again, I'll see you guys on Wednesday.
Um, before I end this stream, um, before I end the stream, guys, um, I want to say to you guys, go on my main channel and comment on my latest video if you want me to do a NCAA 2K20 series again. Try it over again. Um, I've already made one before, but make a second one. Do a little differently. Um, and if you guys want me to, then, uh, go comment down my latest video. Um, and I'll do it once the TCU season is over for basketball. And then obviously TCU football's, you know, long ways away. Um, you know, and both aren't going on. So, yeah, but that's about it, guys. Um, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Go Frogs, Riff Ram. Um, see you guys on Wednesday for the TCU Kansas game. Riff Ram, go Frogs. Um, and yeah, guys, I'll see you then. Uh, go Frogs. And uh, see you guys in the next one. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. And uh, appreciate for anybody who stopped. Appreciate you for uh, stopping by, anybody who stopped by. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.